Now, uh, if you have any questions for us, well, by all means, pop up and ask. And don't race for the microphone because you'll kill somebody. <laughs> Just me, who cares? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Okay, awesome. See, Go that was it. fast. Hey, Gary and David. Um, hey. I found out apparently that both of you guys auditioned for the opposite, you know, the opposite role of each other. Gary auditioned for Megatron, David auditioned for Primal. How was, do you guys actually remember that process and the voice that you were gonna do for those characters? Yes. Yeah. I, I remember it very well. <laughs> yes. I kept I, practicing it. Side guns. Side guns. Yeah, but he got it. Yeah, that's right. No, it's, it's funny because I had no, I, I was still fairly new to the whole process, yeah. right? So I would, I didn't really have anything going. I kind of looked at all the breakdowns. I didn't really have too much going in. I didn't sort of study anything. Oh, I'm going to do this. And I kind of went in there, and they said, what do you got? And I go, and I just started. And, and uh, I did the Megatron. I don't know, you've heard the story. You probably read it online. But I kind of I, I was wrong with this. I read the script, read the, the, the dialogue. And I kind of said, well, if, if, you know, if Anthony Hopkins and Sean Connery and a lizard had a baby, what would that, how would that, what would that sound what like? Would that be? So I just sort of sort of talking like this, a bit of an accent, and so you know, and it came up with this uh, this this character, sort of on the spot. I read that, and then they had me read for Optimus Prime. Uh, after that, they usually have you read. They're sort of not quite sure All the sometimes, cockers. so they'll have you read a bunch of things. And I think what they're trying to find is if you're able to do more than one character, because that's handy in a series. So. Yeah. No, it's uh, that's how it worked. I mean, I remember going to read a, 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 to read for it and uh, said, "Okay, we like that. We like that. Yeah, that's good." And I read for Rat Trap. How did that sound? <laughs> Me. And it was the same. I went, "Hey, what are you doing, big bot?" You know, and, and uh, they went, uh, "You know, Scotty does that better." <laughs> <laughs> so. So Scotty got the part, and I got Optimus, and uh, and basically I just did Optimus as me with a bit more oomph, and um, because w because when I saw the previous iterations of, of of Optimus Prime and Primal, well not Primal but Optimus Prime, Prime was very robotic, and everything was so this we must save the planet of these you know these people on this planet called Earth. Megatron, we don't have to, you know, it was very, it was very machiney, And I thought, but he's a gorilla, so now he's a gorilla, he's an ape. So you've got to make him a bit more human. And a bit more, so I made him a bit warmer and, a, and with a sense of humor and, uh, and, uh, and sort of played with that, you know, rather than just being a humorless robot and, and, and not expressing any of those human feelings, I thought, you know, they get frustrated. You know, warm-blooded animals get frustrated. They get sad. They get wistful. They get angry. You know, they do all these things. And so I added that dimension to that robotic kind of character and came out with Optimus Primal. And uh, seemed to work because they said, okay, well, yeah, we're, we're good with that. Okay. So there you go. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. The also, the, the, there's a, I saw somebody earlier about after two or three episodes of a series, or sometimes four, you st everyone starts to kind of settle into their role, and it seems, um, it happened to me on, on, on the, the animated, where they wanted kind of a younger sound, and I kind of, I wasn't comfortable, and then finally after four episodes, things sort of settled in. With, with uh, I realized about three or four episodes in, uh, with, with the Megatron characters, very Shakespearean. You know, yeah. if, if I do this, this will happen. If you do that, it's debate. Yeah. And so I play, started playing more of the ups and downs and the lows and the arguments, you know, with himself. And this be, that's where the... I, I but it put, was you know. brilliant to listen to. Oh, was, I got to say. Thank you. It was... <laughs> it was fun to listen to. I loved all that. Yes, and then. So, what are you doing now? <laughs> no, it's not proper. No, we must destroy them, you fool. You know, all these things, and I'm just going, yeah, because that's what Megatron's all about. He, he, is, that, he is that guy. I actually stole the voice. I stole his voice for, for a show called uh, uh, Nexo Knights. 
Do you know that Lego cartoon called Nuxo Knights? I am Magma. <laughs> and I am a villain. And you people really, really annoy me. Do you know what I mean? So I stole his voice for that character. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. Sorry. <laughs> Public domain. <laughs> because as soon as I saw the as soon as I saw the character, I went, oh yeah, I'll do that. That's Megatron. 